Yeah, hello guys and welcome to the channel so in this video i'll be showing you how to set up a deriv swap for your account so for those of you who don't know what swap means swap simply means the fee brokers charge if you hold a trade overnight so a swap free trading account is a type of an account that when you're trading on it and you hold the trade from a particular day to the next day broker will not charge you any fee whatsoever so in this video i'll be showing you simple steps on how to set up a deriv swap free account if you're ready have an account with Deriv okay. and if you don't already have an account with Deriv I think you should you can use the link on the description of this video to sign up an account and those of you who already have a Deriv account but are yet to set up a swap free account you need to watch this video to the end because I'll be showing you an interesting feature about the Deriv swap free account to set up a Deriv MT5 swap free account the first thing you need to do is to log into your Deriv account so I just log into my Deriv account click the menu button right here and select the traders hub button it will take you to this page if, if you want to create a demo if you don't want to create a real account yet you will just you will just draw this button right here and click on demo okay so if you want to create a real account you drop this button right here and click on real okay any swap free account you create will be a real account where you make real money the next thing you need to do is to click on the cfd button right here then you scroll down you see swap free so on this swap free account click on this get button right here then select this you click on it next button below it will highlight then you click on the next button below it then here you create your deriv mp5 password so you're going to use this password you're going to create to log into your deriv mp5 account on the meta to the five platform i'll just type in my password so i'm done typing in my password so i'll just click add account so once the password is okay you see this message success then you click the next button below it okay this congratulatory pop-up message will appear then you click maybe later then if you look at this account on the swap free account you see that you've already created an account so for you to be able to link this your swap free account to the meta to the five app on your phone what you just need to do is you click the open button right here to get the login details so once you click the login details the only thing you need to note here is one the broker's name there is svg llc and the second thing you need to check is the server there is svg server and the login id you already know your password so i'll copy the login id by just clicking that button then i'll go to my meta to the five app so once i get to my meta to the five app i'll click the menu button right here then i'll click on manage account then i'll click on the plus sign there then I'll say Jiris SVG LLC. So I'll click Jiris the SSG. Then I'll impute my login ID. Then type in my password. Jiris the SVG server. Then I'll click the login button. Automatically, I'm logged in already. Okay. One of the interesting features I told you I'll show you before the end of this video is this. Let me show you. Once you click this button right here to add a, an asset, you see that whole synthetic indices crypto etfs currency pairs stock indices metals you'll find all of it in this swap free account if you want to trade currency pair if you want to trade synthetic indices you want to trade crypto metals or stock indices energies everything is there okay you don't need to create two different accounts the swap free account covers for everything so that's one of the coolest features about this account and if you don't already have a swap free account I think you should get one for yourself and if you want to add any of these assets to the quote page you already know what to do just click on any of them maybe i want to add volatility indices you see all the assets under this volatility indices category so you can add the ones that you want to add okay then uh you can go to crypto in which crypto btc ethereum you can add it then you can go to forex minor or forex major add your usd so or any other currency pair you wish to trade so once you go back to the page this is what you see you see all the assets you added on the code page so that will be all for this video guys if this video was helpful don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel talk to you on my next video guys